Hi guys, good afternoon. How are you doing today? Remember, we're going to begin with lesson number two. And just a quick review for lesson number one. We, we, we focused on vocabulary for a specific point in the past as well as periods of time in the past that continue in the present, right? So for example, during, paper was invented during the second century. In, democracy was developed in ancient Greece in the sixth century. Ago, Neil Armstrong took the first steps on the moon almost 50 years ago. From 2, World War II occurred from 1939 to 1945. And 4, the Roman Empire lasted for over 1,000 years. We also have describing, uh, describing a period of time in the past that continues in the present, for example, the United Nations, since and 4. So, the United Nations has existed since 1945, specific time, or for the United Nations has existed for over 70 years. So this is a period of time and we use the present perfect because it, the United Nations still exists in the present. Okay? Um, so for this shopping, it we're going to talk about history. Alright? And I chose Martin Luther King Jr. Alright? Well, for those of you who don't know or don't remember Martin Luther King Jr., well, he was an African-American um, Baptist and he participated in the civil, uh, civil rights movement okay, during the 1950s and afterwards. So he is an iconic person for American history. He protected the African-Americans during that time. So I, in my opinion, he was a very important person and continues to be a very important person right now okay I chose Martin Luther King and the history because we're going to be using uh, the words the vocabulary words we just uh, talked about right and these are some facts about Martin Luther King okay so number one Martin Luther King jr. was born in 1929 in then number two his grandfather was pastor of the uh, Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta from 1914 to 1931 so again we use the vocabulary from to then in 1954 Martin Luther King jr. became pastor of the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery Alabama Okay, so we have in, in 1954. Then, next one. Martin was part of the bus boycott, which lasted for over 300 days. And the vocabulary word, for, which lasted for over 300 days. Next one. During this time, referring to the bus boycott, during this time, Luther King Jr., was arrested and his house bombed okay during we have another vocabulary word during and finally we have martin luther king's famous i have a dream speech was 55 years ago okay so we have the vocabulary word ago so as you can see we used all of the words here um, to describe a point in the past. In this case, we talked about Martin Luther King Jr. But we used during, in, ago, from, to, and for. Okay? So, just to uh, quickly mention about uh, Martin Luther King, we could just uh, imagine in a presentation and you want to talk about Martin Luther King Jr. Well, you could give information such as this, and you can use vocabulary that we just learned. So, Martin Luther King Jr. was born in 1929. His grandfather was pastor of the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta from 1914 to 1939. In 1954, Martin Luther King Jr. became a pastor of the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama. Martin was part of the bus boycott, which lasted for over 300 days. During this time, Luther King Jr. was arrested and his house bombed. 
Finally, Martin Luther King's famous I Have a Dream speech was 55 years ago. All right? Well, in this case, you should be thinking about another historical figure and, you know, try to think of all of the vocabulary words that you can use to talk about this persons or this history. All right? Remember, we have in, from, to, in, once more, for, during, and ago. All right? Well, this is it for lesson number two, and have a nice day. I will see you for lesson number three.